Hey guys, Jill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where we teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now you might be wondering, Jill, why are you wearing a hat? Well, it's because I have a bad hair day. So that's why I'm putting on this hat. Now why do I have the glasses here? Well, these are my motion tracking glasses. If I put these on, my face is motion tracked. How awesome is this? Now one of the biggest frustrations of Premiere, except for the fact that it crashes from time to time, is the fact that we can't properly track something. Or can we? Of course, we all know that when we apply an effect to a clip, we can make a mask within that effect and track that mask. So that's something that we can track. But let's get into tracking motion and tracking titles. Now, of course, there are plugins that let you easily track, like for instance, Mocha, but that's a paid plugin. So let me show you how to do it for free. Okay, let's open up Premiere Pro and drop a clip in our timeline. I've got a clip of me dancing because I want to have a dynamic shot. Now it's shot on a wide angle and I highly recommend this because this will give you a lot of room to work with. Now first we're going to start by going into our program monitor and clicking on the plus icon. And there are three things that we're going to need here. Rulers, safe margins and guides. So drag these to our program monitor and hit OK. Next I'm going to apply the transform effect to my clip and you can find this in the effects panel. Now set a keyframe for the scale and position by clicking the stopwatch icons on the left of these properties within the effects controls panel. Next, head a bit further in time and set new keyframes. I'm zooming to 250% and repositioning my shot until I like the framing. Okay, now we're going to the program monitor and activate our three icons. So the safe margins, the rulers and the guides. Now from the vertical ruler, I drag a guide to the center of my eyes. Then from the horizontal ruler, I drag one to the middle of my eyelids. Okay, now this created a cross and this middle point will now always be the center of my face. The next step will take a long, long, long time. We're gonna go frame by frame and use the position property to reposition this to the cross center of our eyes. Now we can also play around with the scaling property, but don't forget to always center the exact same position, which is the center of your eyes, right above our nose. Once you're finally done with this, so about two hours later, depending on the length of your video, of course, your video will look like this. Now if you want even more motion blur in your shot, you can always deselect the composition shutter angle and set a custom one of 180 degrees. Why would I want this motion in the first place? Well, it's a great way to enhance the movement and dynamism of your video. For instance, the part where I turn, look at a side-by-side -side comparison. The motion tracked version is way more dynamic. Now using the same method, we can also simply track text, but even without the guidelines in our program monitor. So let's disable all of those and hit Ctrl T to get a new graphic layer. Now type the text that you want to track. Center align it from the essential graphics panel, which you can find in the window menu, and then hit return and on the second line type X. And now we're doing exactly the same as before. Start with a keyframe in the effect controls, but we can sometimes skip some frames now and Premiere will just animate the space between these. Now try to keep the center of the X on the same position each time. Like for instance, an eye or your nose. Now proceed until the end of your clip and then head back to the graphic layer. And simply delete the X. Bam, your text is now tracked. How awesome is this, right? Of course, you can also combine both if you want, but I think that's a bit overkill. Now, it does take a while, but the end result is exactly the same as if you would have done it in Adobe After Effects. So yeah, a cool hack. Call me Hacker Man. Now, talking about After Effects, if you're a newbie and want to learn everything about it, then head over to the first link in the description below, which will direct you straight to our After Effects course on Skillshare. Now, the first two weeks are completely for free. So you have no excuse to not click on that link. Now I'll see you guys next week for another live stream and another tutorial. And as always, stay creative. <laughs>